Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. We are at the Brookhaven Hospital and we have visited a few places here. Um, we encountered a um, glued on key over at C4. And we also encountered a uh, door, which has a stupid, stupid code lock. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. So, in between episodes, I actually, yeah, I, I actually went and... Uh, found out the code because even though we, we I got a clue and I, I don't want to bother stuff like that right now I don't even know if I'm going the right way here I do want to check this out though yes because this is really puzzling that's the key we want Oh god. Uh unequip. <laughs> I actually read up on this thing. Um if you equip the perfume, enemies will uh, be drawn to you. So uh yeah, we don't want that. Oh my god, it was that easy. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> we got the stairway key. Yay. Uh, now though, where is that door? Hmm. Over here? It must be, yeah. Alright, to the second floor! Uh, okay. Very well. Hello! Ow! Damn. That's rough. Alright. Let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to trigger anything. No. Let's go to the second floor. Hey, hey. Uh, all right. It should be this one. Yeah, this is it. Look at this silly clue. Press move two. Right. Press move one up. Press. Yeah, I missed the comma when I wrote wrote that down. Because now, when I know the answer, it actually makes sense. You press a number and then. You move to right and press another one, and yeah. Anyway, because I'm playing this on easy, it should be 46, 39. Yay! If I played on riddle level hard, I would be presented with the longest poem I've ever seen. <laughs> and I don't even know what the answer was because that was just oh, way too much. Uh, that's a tattoo on this foot. Margaret, let's share our love until death do us part. Hmm. Huh. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. That we cannot read, alright. Uh, there's a medical record here. Could this be... For this dead guy? Background, unknown, unknown. Not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in... 
Room M4 achieves its discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Okay. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but but wound angle suspicious. Wound angle, jeez. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Has received no proof of corroboration. Or corroboration was yeah. Notify police. No, really. Uh, M4. All right. Papers scattered on the floor. Something is written, but we don't care, apparently. Well... Okay, let's see if we can actually... Yes. Oh my god, you're holding a gun, even. That's horrible. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for stomping on her for me. I mean, if anything, anything for this... Moaning metal sounds. All right. M2. M3. That's an elevator. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Alright, another code, huh? 0124. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, 0124. That's important, probably. The attached cage is locked. Oh! Oh, wait. Alright. 01. Two, four. Instant camera. What will will fail frame? No. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Yes, I have one of those as well. Um. Okay. Now what? Oh, hello. Yeah. You're an annoying. Oh, jeez. Oh god, I have to be careful now. I don't want to die. That's it. <laughs> you please move. Yeah, kick them. Ooh. Oh. All right. Let's make use of it straight away. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, we got some healing items. Hmm. Um, that's it. Uh, oh, there's something here. Over here. This little door is also broken. All right. Oh yeah, that's that place. Jeez. The thing I should have done is checking this. Okay, that's all right. Now the question is, do I go up to the Third floor, or do I go down? 
Let's try and go down. Right. Yeah, there's a... <clears throat> it's much smaller at the bottom. Uh... Submachine gun bullets. Hey, hey. Oh, jeez. Oh. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? Oh, man, a lot of bullets here as well. Or shell casings, I should say. It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. This flickering not lights, that's suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. But I can't squeeze into there and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Hmm. Can I no. Streaks of blood as something got dragged are continuing on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Huh. Can I... There's a step ladder here. You can just take that and climb over this. Well, I guess we'll remember that. Holy crap. Alright. Submachine gun. Nice. I am um, a bit worried though over all the blood and stuff. Alright. Let's remember that and go back upstairs. To the third floor! Wait. No, nope, that's second, of course. Uh, that's not a noise I want to hear, honestly. Oh god, not another one. <laughs> no. Fine. Let's see if we can figure it out. Oh! Um... Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Not leave any marks in a pervert, huh? Oh! Oh, it's unlocked, huh? Padded cell. There's... There's nothing here? What? All right. At least nothing. <clears throat> All right. Um. Oh, I thought it was someone hanging there, but it was just a strap. Uh, is there really nothing here? Well, I left a mark, that's for sure. There I am. Okay. Let's remember that and go somewhere else. Hmm. Oh. Nice. Uh, anything?
something else. Ooh, stun gun battery. Health drinks. Nice. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. It's a good variety, but nothing I would need. Oh, you never know. At least we saved. That's something. Elevator. Huh? Well. I have to say I'm a bit puzzled. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, can I go to the roof? Let's give it a go. Oh. Very well, let's take the stairs then. Because I need a clue if I'm gonna be able to... Um, if I'm gonna be able to wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, no. Oh, jeez, you're quick too. Oh my God, get up for the love of. Huh. Oh my... Oh, stop it, stop it. Jeez, man. Uh-huh. Nice. Kick them. dead please yeah I think we're good oh some machine gun bullets nice maybe I've, I was supposed to use that but yeah it's more fun with a shotgun let's be honest now though oh geez don't tell me what? That was it? Then there must be something I'm missing. I mean, obviously, but... Jeez, this is so obvious. Right, let's see here, do that, and now, finally, the camera, of course. Nineteen eighteen. Okay, the end of the First World War. If I'm <laughs> not remembering things wrong. Well, at least we got the code. That blasted code. And I will probably cut out some of my random... Oh, there's that noise again. All right, 1918. Mm. Oh, jeez, come on, there. 
one eight. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? Photo on chair, pigeon is a fairy tale oh, for the love of Well that's Am I reading it? That is 1918, right? <sighs> I am at a loss for words right now. The first number is a 1. The second one is a 9. The third one is a 1. And the fourth one is 8. This should work, but it doesn't. And I have tried to put in 8161. That doesn't work either. Is that a 6? Oh my, don't tell me that's a 6 because that I'm going to flip. If that is 6118, I'm going to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm stupid here. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is embarrassing. Oh my... Jeez. Well... We're... <laughs> we're here. Oh my god. And I cleaned my glasses before I started. <laughs> Wait, what? That looks really modern. It's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Man, that's a lot of S's. A charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, <clears throat> who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to, to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be a part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. 
I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber huh. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah, that is familiar. Tissue and alarm clock. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Oh! Beef jerky. Nice. A lot of locked or broken doors here. Uh, wine? Okay. Are you kidding me? That's not nice. Did I trigger that by going into... That's probably... Yep, yeah, pick up. Come on. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? Not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal?
party. Very well. Alright, that was... Lock is broken. Lock is broken, but... Alright, hang on a second. M4. But we... Yeah, we've been there. At the end of the hall of the second floor? What? I don't really get it, but sure. Let's go. Might as well make sure that we've checked everything. Well, that elevator is of no use. Oh my god, I just can't. I just can't forget this stupid code. That six looks exactly like my uh <laughs> when I write the number one sometimes. It's it's a straight line, but then it just goes off in a bit of a twirl at the end. Uh jeez, lag. Okay. Very well. Maybe I should have saved, to be honest, but Um, all right, should be in here. Uh, we're fine. Is it this one? No. Also, oh, maybe he's in here after all. Okay, let's... Wait. Uh-huh. That's... freaky. Not gonna lie. Okay, now... Um, now I am... Um, oh, alright. I'll uh, go this way then. No worries. Huh. Okay, what's over here? All right. Thank you. I guess. Man, I don't remember this at all. <laughs> what is going on? Eh. Oh. Well. No, that's not the camera angle I want. All right. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is a yeah. Ah. Oh. Really. This was a dead end. Yeah. I am trapped? No. It can't be. Open up! Please. What? Am I missing something incredibly obvious again? I mean, I. Hell. Seriously? Mind games. I'm sure. Well, we're not going back then, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. Um, this picture. This doesn't. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be...
What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Um... Well... No... What's this? Oh! You're doing something there. Oh man. Well. This is okay. That was. Oh, there are doors here. Man. Uh huh. Nice camera angle, actually. Oh, not you. I hate you. And of course, my. Katana that doesn't do anything that's perfect. Oh, stop it! Do I really have to? Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Do I? Well, I can try. Yes. Alright, that didn't work either, so screw it. Oh my god, thank goodness. Okay, definitely don't want them all. Stun gun? I don't want to use a gun. I'm very uh, cautious with my ammo. Oh, that's cool. Don't like the noise though, so we'll... I suppose... leave. Alright. We're... Okay? Yeah. What the... Oh! Uh... Uh-huh. Okay, now uh, I really want to get out of here. Maybe I shouldn't walk in that. <laughs> okay. Oh! Um... hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this? I'm a fool what? Looks like a full out bloodletting bloodletting, jeez. Certainly. Okay. Kinda hard to 
distinguish the doors from, well, anything else. Okay, so that's apparently important. Oh, we're back here, what? Well, jeez. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it for the today. Oh man. Yeah. I'm not happy with the, the puzzles in this hospital, but um, what are you gonna do? Next time, though, we will hopefully find our way out of here. See you next time.